hello guys and welcome back to my channel it's time for another video and if you're new welcome so this is a quick overview of the boys room and here's me in the middle of the process i have changed some of the wall decor as well as add curtains and i stacked their beds as bump beds and i also brought in one of their surprises which is this fisher price big wheel um i really had to make space in their room because i have a new surprise for them and i needed space in this room in order for it to work so if you are interested in seeing how their room turned out stay tuned and continue to watch the video Say A, B, C, D. You already had chips. You already had chips. Where your chips at in here? Car. Yeah, car. Huh? Finish these chips. Yeah, these chips. You ain't about to keep opening up chips. Yeah. You have a ah. So this is what the boys' room looks like. I have changed it maybe four times. And I think this is the best fit with the bump beds stacked. Um, they got a new car. So this is their first time playing with this car. And I take it as they love it. Um, I'm excited to see how they do with it outside. But as of right now... It looks like it's a win for sure. Oh, what are you talking about? Yeah. Shoe. Um, they know how to climb up the bed. See, Zeke is about to do it now with no problem. Um, so I am not scared about that. I know some people ask me like, oh, would I be scared about them climbing the bed? Because they are only two. Um, the thing about it is that they are really strong two-year-olds. So, um, they are very, like, body aware. Um, you see, he did that with no problem, and he gonna come right back down. He knows to, like, if he doesn't feel it, you see him? He knows he has to continue to move his feet in order to he feels it. So, they're really good about it. I think they'll be fine. Not only do they know how to do the ladder, but they know how to do like the side of it here and climb up there with no problem. These toys have been the same, same toys they've been playing with for forever. Where you see ball? Oh, that's the baseball? Um, I don't really let them like eat in their room. Ball? Yeah. I don't really let them eat in their room, but they was like eating at the table and they kind of came in here. They love, absolutely love their grill. They have all the food in it. He about to get super excited. Watermelon. What a kiwi. Fine kiwi. They absolutely love everything about this play area. You want me to put, your, put the apron on? You want to put it on? Please. Okay. Well, Hey. Mom, put it on, okay? <laughs> he's like, he's around so I can put it on. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what they look like playing in their room by themselves. Um, I'm going to hop out of here while they do all this. Um, one thing I learned is that boys will be boys, so they climb on stuff. So, you just have to get unscared. Um, before, when I first had them, I used to be scared of everything, but... I know that they can climb everything, basically, so I don't really get worried about it. Not only that, I'm sitting right here. Hi. I can see them right here with no problem, and the door is open. Um, as well as the gate, I usually only lock the gate when they go to sleep. That way, they can learn to not open the gate. I mean, not to just come out of their room, 
um, in the morning um, because sometimes they wake up at like 7.30 in the morning and they just run straight for my room. And I want them to do that. I want them to learn that like when they get up, they don't have to like automatically run to my room to try and turn on the TV. Okay, he wanna go in though. So let him go, let it go. Okay, relax, relax. He wanted to go in. You might have wanted to close it, but he was trying to get in, okay? Little chunky butt. Chunky butt. You don't want it? He's trying to get some other chips, and it's not going to go down. So, he just gonna keep eating the chips. Um, they know to leave the juice here. That's why you see them there uh, for the most part. Sometimes they'll try it and run around the house, but I don't really be letting that slide. But, like I said, I can see them from here. So, I'm going to stop filming for a bit and start cooking. But, I just wanted to show you all them playing and the new setup of their room. And, I'll take it that they really love it. And, I'm excited about it. Oh, wait. One more thing before I turn it off. He got mommy snacks. So, mommy is trying to be healthy. So, this is like... Um, some kind of trail mix with pretzels added to it um but they like my snack for whatever reason so there's that but this is the other thing that i'm adding to their room which is a mini trampoline so i'm excited about that i'm probably gonna put that up tomorrow not necessarily today because it's already getting late as you can see like it's starting to turn blue in the windows that's because it's getting darker so, I'm not going to do it tonight. But that did get delivered today from Amazon. And I'm excited about that. This is how twins play, I guess, if y'all wanted to see. They usually switch each other for stuff really quickly. And the only way you can tell them apart right now is because of their hair. One twin didn't want their hair braided. So, Zeke, he said he got his hair braided. Eli was crying the whole time. And I really didn't want to fight with him. So, I just let him go. You can see he's eating the white chocolate out of it. Don't be shy now. Let me see you eat the white chocolate. Cause that look like the only thing he's picking up so he can eat. I know you eating everything. You eating the raisin? Good job. Oh, did you just put that raisin back in my bag? See, that's another thing. Look, he's nasty. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day, and yeah, box. I'm getting ready to open the trampoline. So it is going to go right here on this wall. Um, the only thing on this wall is his pictures, and it's just open, and I left it that way for the trampoline specifically. Um, so we have Eli, and then Zeke is in the car. They just woke up not too long ago. We already ate breakfast. No, no. No, no. No, no. Thank you. Yeah. Mommy, go open it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like before. And... Box. You want me to take it out? Okay. Say, oh. What's this? All right, so I'm gonna save some time on this video by speeding it up. I'm not gonna show you the entire process because realistically it took me an entire week 
to put this entire trampoline together okay it was one difficult to put together because there were two toddlers around me really excited about the trampoline which I'm not upset about but obviously it takes me a little bit longer and then two I really had a hard time putting the screws in in the middle of the trampoline where it's where it has a support bar i actually have to go and buy a drill to be able to put the screws in and so that's a week um but i wanted to tell you one of the reasons why i am putting together this trampoline in the boys room is because of the current climate of america uh, we do live in florida we live in south florida and so if you know anything about florida and everything that's going on then you would know that south florida has it really bad in its current state of whatever we're in right so i have to bring their activities inside to them and so this trampoline is one of those ways So once the trampoline was completely finished, it was a little bit bigger than I anticipated. So I again had to rearrange the layout of the room. And this is what I came up with. And I am absolutely in love with this. So are the boys. They absolutely love their room. They spend a lot of time in here. They love their truck. They love their trampoline. And I rotate their toys in and out of here. The rest of their toys are in their closet. And here are just some few clips of the boys jumping on a trampoline they are too adorable so if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much i want to say thank you thank you thank you for watching this entire video if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment down below anything you may want to know about this room or about myself or the boys and again if you really enjoyed it go ahead and subscribe um, i will be posting more videos about being a mom to twin boys so stay tuned and i will see you in my next video